Welcome compadres. Today we're going to show you how to apply a normal distribution probability plot and determine our P90, P50, and P10 of a data set. This can be any data set. This can be a data set generated from a Monte Carlo simulation or actual data that you get out in the field. Um, it's just it goes back and forth either way. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to plot our z-score versus our randomly generated values from a Monte Carlo simulation. You can see here this is the equation we're going to reference for our normal distribution where our slope is our standard deviation and our intercept is going to be the mean of the normal distribution. So we're going to plot our z-score. Our z-score can be determined using the normal standard inverse function in Excel. and it just takes one argument our cumulative probability value okay and so if we plot our z-score versus our values right here from our Monte Carlo simulation we get this result if we fit a straight line through it using a trend line we get this equation right here and so we can see here we have our uh, equation where this slope is going to be our standard deviation and this intercept is going to be our mean okay so now we can determine the two unknowns in this equation that we need to determine our p90 p50 and p10 but uh, just to verify that we did everything right it's good practice to um, you know compare this value to um, you know a calculated value because you could actually I found myself you know plotting data uh, not getting all the data captured in here sometimes so it's good practice to double check so we're just gonna steal our intercept function from our uniform probability plot okay all we're gonna do is we're going to change our X from our cumulative probability to our z-score and we get a value and then our slope is determined the same way we just use the slope function. So if we compare these values, they're the same. So um, that's just a double check. Next, we can apply this equation uh, to determine our P90, P50, and P10. Um, all we need is a Z, since we know our, our slope and our intercept. And so um, we're going to calculate a Z-score at a cumulative probability of 90%, which represents our P10 in this scenario. So we're using the same Excel function we used, normal standard inverse, cumulative probability value, that's our z-score, and we can determine our z-score for all of these, and then we just apply this equation up here to determine our random variable. So it's going to be equal to our slope times our z-score plus our intercept and you're going to want to freeze these constants not the z-score and we get our p10, p50, and p90 and if you compare that to the uniform distribution they're pretty close so that gives us confidence that we did our analysis right. And if you compare these coefficients up here, we can see that the uniform distribution edges out the normal distribution in this scenario. Um, so, uh, but you know, that's left up to engineering judgment on what, whatever you choose. But in the next video, we're going to look at a log normal distribution probability plot and go through and show you how to do that. But that's it, guys. That's all I got today. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll see you next time. Adios.